hi guys in this video i explain how to install hadoop in linux machine first we need java on linux machine so after that we will proceed for hadoop first we install java ok first we update the packages in linux machine ok after that we will pro uh, proceed for next process ok after update the packages we will install jre yes it will take some time it will take some time ok it's processing jre installing ok wait for few minutes it will out JR is successfully installed. After that, we will install JDK. Okay, by using this command, we will install JDK. It will also take some time. Yes. Okay, it's processing. Okay, complete the JDK installation. After that, we will check uh, Java install or not. First, Java. Okay, install. Then, Java C compiler. Okay, it will also install. So, we will further installations for Hadoop. We will do it. After that, we will check uh, Java which version we will install. Java iPhone version. Okay. We will install Java 1.8. So, no problem at all. Now, we install uh, SSH. Okay, for uh, secure shell using sudo apt at iphone install ssh okay we install ssh it will take some time okay it will processing yeah. for install of ssh Okay, completed of SH install. After SH install, we check uh, whether SH are installed or not. Okay, SH localhost. Yes. Okay. It will be almost installed. Okay, this one is showing. So it means that we will unable to SH. After that, we will download Hadoop, Hadoop Tarball here, Apache Archives is there, right? So we will download this one. After download this Tarball, we extract here, okay? After that, we will go to the directory, cd, iPhone. Then extract the tarball. Tar iPhone X Z P F. Okay, copy this one. Tar iPhone G Z. Okay, it will extract here. After extract here, we will set the path and update the configurations file in bash rc. Open bash rc and update the environment path. Bash rc. Okay, this one is bash as a file. We will update this one. After the F5 command, we will update this one. Okay, we will export the Hadoop home. Home, our 
we will give our path after that we will set the path bin okay okay after that to check the bash rc changes op uh, we will open new terminal okay new terminal and check uh, our echo dollar adapt to home we will show the exactly path of whether bash rc is updated or not we will check okay is it working right okay after that we configure the xml files in hadoop etc okay next core side dot xml hdfs side dot xml all those things we will set up configure it okay here core side dot xml file configurations like uh, name node inform all the name node informations will give path okay all those things in core side dot xml after that we will go hdfs side dot xml in hdfs side dot xml we will provide a replication factor name node data node informations okay and black size all those things we will provide here after that hdfs side dot xml configurations we will move to yarn side dot xml okay save this xml file then in in yarn side dot xml we provide resource manager node manager configurations okay the this one yarn side dot xml after that we will go mapper in mapper side dot xml we will give map reduce okay name uh, only one thing and value here yarn it means uh, only application and all those resource managers all those things will cover it here and then we'll move all those slave machines this one is local mission right so only one machine is the local host after that we'll go hadoop env.sh and uh, map out env.sh here only uh, we'll update the java jdk path right java home java home path will go user user allegedly after that we'll go jvm okay this is a java home path we'll go here and take the properties we'll okay in hadoop env dot sh file we will update the java home as well as we will update in uh, mapper env dot sh right we will go big data hadoop etc hadoop and mapper right mapper env shell file right same thing here we copy paste here okay update this sh file also and uh, how do pnv dot sh files also these are all uh, around eight uh, shell uh, xml and uh, shell files we update here and what is the configurations uh, depends upon core site at xml or mapper site at xml all those things we will configure it then we will move on to next step before starting name node we will format the name node okay first we will format this okay this is a command for format the name node if you not this formatted then the demands will not start it yes name node is formatted right after format the name node we will start the all the demands start hyphen all dot sh okay we will start the all demands okay here uh, demands are not started we will go sh check once command sometimes work here not Okay, we'll start the start all dot sh. We'll go new tab. Start hyphen all dot sh. 
okay here the start the all the demons yeah and name node all those informations okay it will take some time for starting name node starting all the name node informations and the yarn all those things okay wait for some time now we'll check which service are running uh, using JPS command? Okay, secondary name node, node manager, data manager, and resource manager, uh, name node. All those things we will run, all demands are run. So, first we will check web UI, then we will go further next step. Okay, we will name node port is 50070, right? Localhost iPhone 50070. it is successfully installation of Hadoop so we have data nodes all those things we will showing in web UI if you need legacy UI then we'll go bottom up so here web UI is there right okay this is uh, legacy UI okay thank you thank you for watching Please subscribe, comment, stick.